You might think that horrifying animals and critters purely exist out there in the forest, jungles, and oceans of the world. You might think that the best way to protect yourself from such beasts is to hide away in your home. Well, well, well. What if we were to tell you that some of the world's most horrifying animals and bugs can't just get into your home, they can live there. And they don't pay rent. These are nasty creatures that can live in your home. Number 15. House Centipede The word nasty is obviously subjective, especially when it comes to the house centipede. While few like the creatures, and even less want them in their home, the house centipede is actually not a bad insect. They actually do some good stuff for you. Whether you know it or not, most people are terrified of centipedes for the simple reason that they have a lot of legs and they move fast. 1.3 feet per second, to be specific. But actually, house centipedes are known to kill unwanted pests in your home, from roaches to moths and flies, and even silverfish. These insects are basically clearing your home of pests without you even knowing about it. And how do we repay them? Well, we don't show gratitude. Centipedes, thankfully, don't carry any fatal diseases, and they don't create any webs or anything like that, which means they're pretty harmless. But still, not many people would be particularly thankful for the presence of these insects. The house centipede has gained a pretty negative reputation, but it's actually doing a world of good for your home. Of course, they are kind of gross looking, so I doubt anybody is going to turn around and start raising centipedes, but still. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Woodlice To our viewers in the UK, the woodlouse is a common and frustrating pest. They're found in conditions all across the country, except for cold highlands, and they can wreak havoc on your home if undetected. Of course, these insects can be found on every continent except Antarctica. But the UK ones are considered to be especially tough. They're the cockney geezers of the woodlice world. If you were to turn over any piece of wood, you'd likely find a common rough woodlouse, one of the toughest species in the UK. This species is capable of tolerating dry and salty conditions, like coastlines, with ease, making it incredibly easy to accidentally transport around the world. But it's not just decaying wood that the woodlouse enjoys. These insects also feed on fungi, fruit, dead animals, and poop. As decomposers, they will basically feed on anything. And since they're so common in homes around the world, you can understand why that would be so dangerous. Woodlice are not really welcomed insects anywhere. That's probably been obvious to you ever since I described them as cockney geezers, but I just wanted to make sure there was no doubt. They're usually, to use classic rhyming slang, brown bread. Number 13. Bed bug. You've heard the saying, you know the dangers, but what exactly is a bed bug? And why would it bite? Or anybody can potentially get bed bugs. Well, they're bugs that often live in beds, and they bite. Those questions were kind of stupid, really, weren't they? Let's find some better ones. Bed bugs are called such because they're usually found in beds, although they have been found in other areas in which humans spend a lot of time. Hotels, airplanes, couches, all of your favorites. But what's most horrific about the bed bug is that it really does bite, and it bites for blood. Bed bugs feed on the blood of any warm blooded animal, although they prefer humans because our skin is constantly exposed. How wonderful for us, eh? Thankfully, bed bugs don't spread disease, but their bites usually turn into red, itchy welts on our otherwise pristine skin, which isn't great if you like to walk around with no clothes on. Of course, the biggest problem when it comes to bed bugs is that they're incredibly difficult to see. In fact, many people will have experienced the phenomenon of bed bugs without ever knowing about it. Good luck sleeping tonight. Number 12. Fleas 
Every pet owner lives with the constant fear that their beloved pet may well be infected with fleas, and they don't know it. Many people will have experienced fleas in some regard, whether it's to do with their dogs, cats, or even, in some rare instances, themselves. It's a well-known fact that fleas are basically Olympians. Fleas, uh -huh. oh my god, it's in her nose, no! Even though they feed off their host's blood and well-being, they're capable of executing some incredible jumps to find more tasty targets. And even incredible feels like an understatement here. Fleas can jump over 150 times the length of their bodies, making it beyond easy for them to leap from one animal to the next. And, since they find it so easy to move around, that means no animal is safe. Even if your pet spends all its time indoors, they're still susceptible to catching fleas. And that raises an even bigger concern, as these nasty little things can also transmit parasites like tapeworms. There's no semantics to be debated here. Fleas are nasty, horrible little things that love to cause trouble for their host animal. Any insect that transfers parasites to our favorite pets is an immediate pest and I will not entertain anything else. Although if anybody ever does an insect Olympics, I'll put the money on the fleas for the long jump. Number 11, Cockroach. You all knew it was coming, didn't you? There can be no list of horrible creatures that live in your home. Okay, let me put it. Oh my God. <laughs> all right, okay. Without mentioning the dreaded cockroach. These insects have been around since the dinosaur's time, and they are one of the most widely hated pests anywhere in the world. The reason cockroaches are so often found inside buildings and homes comes down to one factor, warm environments that also have food and water. They basically just want to live in a nice house without having to pay. I mean, I want that too, but if I do it, I'm a squatter. Because they're so old, cockroaches are considered one of the most most adaptable and formidable pests anywhere on Earth. With over 4,000 living species worldwide, they're able to live for weeks without food and water, even if they've lost their head. It defies all logic, right? Cockroaches are also pretty infamous for being, well, toxic. Just their presence can trigger allergies and asthma attacks in those vulnerable, which makes them one of the most surprisingly dangerous insects around. There's also absolutely no question. These are horrible, nasty little things to have in your house. Number 10, Pharaoh Ant. You've probably never heard of the Pharaoh Ant, and that's really a good thing. If these ants manage to infest your home, you're pretty much done for. Getting rid of them is near impossible. An awful lot of ants are milling about down here. It's kind of the worst case scenario for anyone even vaguely terrified of insects. The pharaoh ant is a tiny insect, but man is it horrible. These insects feed on sweets and dead insects, but once they manage to get inside your house, there's no getting rid of them. The ants build nests in your walls, cabinets, boxes of food, or any other accessible space they can find. And even if you manage to get them out of your home, reinvasion can occur throughout the warmer parts of the year. So, once you get them once, you're pretty much stuck with them for the long haul. I wasn't kidding when I said it was the worst case scenario. What makes this whole thing even more complicated is the social structure of the pharaoh ant. These ants have multiple queens and multiple nests, which ends up making them all but impossible to fully corral. Once you see those small amber-colored worker ants, you may as well just move house, and then continue as necessary until you run out of places to live. Or just, I don't know, clean up after yourself. Number 9. Harvestmen Arachnophobes look away now. While the harvest men are not necessarily spiders, they are arachnids. Also known as Daddy Longlegs. Probably the creepiest name for any kind of spider type insect. These things are eight legged arachnids that can prove mighty unsettling if you stumble upon one at night. Trust me, I've experienced this many a time. I can't count how many glasses I've broken. 
There are over 6,400 known types of harvestmen, although experts estimate there are over 10,000 species in total, which is kind of horrifying. Over 3,500 unidentified species of arachnid out there in the world. I'd like to nope the hell out of that one. Thank you. Fossils have even dated the harvestmen back over 400 million years, which is, well, frightening. Thankfully, these animals are not harmful to humans, and none of the known species have poison glands whatsoever. They're also not considered to be spiders, even though they definitely look nasty. While it's good to know that these things cannot and will not harm us, it's still pretty horrifying to think that there are many species still undiscovered in the world. I, for one, would rather not think too much about that. Number 8. Clothes Moth While many insects tend to be localized to one region or another, it seems the moth is a pain in the ass on every single continent. There's another one inside. There's two inside. And one form of moth seems to be even worse than just about any other, the clothes moth. While it would be great if this moth was just some kind of quirky fashion model for insects, it's a lot more annoying. The clothes moth is a particular household pest that can cause a great deal of chaos for just about everybody with furniture. The clothes moth is a big fan of moisture, and it's pretty much the only place that they can get fluid or liquid. And their favorite kind of fabric? Clothing. The moths lay their eggs on the fabric, and as the larvae grow, they begin feasting on the moisture found within. Soon enough, your clothes or fabric has holes in it, and your home is infested with moths. Not a fun time for anybody, especially if you like fashion or interior design. Funnily enough, for an insect so famous for being drawn to light, the clothes moth prefers darkness. Maybe it's ashamed of the chaos that it inflicts upon humans' lives. Or maybe I'm just projecting my own internal emotions onto an insect. Number 7. Carpet Beetles Despite the name, carpet beetles cause more damage to your home than just wrecking the carpet. These insects have been known to damage everything from your rugs to your clothing and even your kitchen cabinets. There's really no end to the destruction they're willing to cause. These are carpet beetle larvae. All of that damage comes from the baby larvae, which feeds on the fabrics around your home. The adult carpet beetle is something much, much worse for unsuspecting humans, as this grown-up beetle prefers to feed on actual food. They will infest and eat your rice, cereals, and flour if they get the chance. And if you, as a human, unknowingly eat the food that has been contaminated, you will get sick. This is easily the most dangerous thing about these animals. They cannot bite, they don't have venom, but they will absolutely invade your food and make you very, very sick. Throughout the northeastern United States, the carpet beetle is a familiar and common pest. While they're most known for eating plants and various other insects, it's not unheard of for them to feast on the kitchen cabinets of unsuspecting homeowners. I mean, really? They're pretty gross little insects. Number 6. Mosquitoes Easily one of the most well-known bloodsuckers in the world, mosquitoes have earned their bad reputation. In fact, it may surprise some people that, of the many dangerous animals in the world, the mosquito is actually the most deadly by far. While everybody knows about the mosquito's blood-sucking capability, this is not what makes it so dangerous. In actuality, what makes a mosquito so deadly is that they can transmit a heck of a lot of diseases. From malaria to Zika and dengue, it's been estimated that mosquitoes cause over 1 million deaths a year, entirely due to the transmitting of these fatal diseases. And even more horrifying is the realization that these animals could, in theory, just fly right into your home at any given moment during the hot summer season. I'll say it for everyone watching, no, no thank you, Mother Nature. While crocodiles and lions and tigers are all incredibly dangerous, they still collectively kill fewer people in a given year than mosquitoes. This thing is like the Terminator in animal form. It's just constantly killing off people left and right. And what's worse is that, in the summer months, the majority of us are vulnerable. Keep your eyes peeled, folks. 
Number 5. Houseflies So this entry is less of a can live in your house and more of a definitely does live in your house. The common housefly is one of the most frustrating pests you can experience on a day-to-day -day basis. But they can also impact your health in a pretty disgusting way. There's a reason many businesses do their utmost to keep flies out of their operations. Because of their dubious breeding and feeding habits, these insects are constantly coming into contact with unpleasant bacteria. These may include Salmonella or E. coli, or any other kind of questionable germs that could make unsuspecting humans very sick. So, when the fly in your house begins floating around your food or cooking utensils, you should be very aware of the situation. There's a high risk that they could pass on their bacteria to you. And then, well, you know what happens then. House flies are not just annoying, but they pose a health risk to humans. We all know that flies like to hang around in, how shall I say it, less than pristine environments. So next time you see one in your kitchen, be sure to consider your health and do your best to get the little guy out of there. Number four, pill bugs. I'm not here to criticize or make assumptions about the way anybody lives, but generally, if your home can be described as wet, you may have a problem. You may also have pill bugs, which is kind of gross actually. This are all millipedes. You can open up. The pill bug is the only crustacean on Earth that can spend its entire life on land. While they're most active at night, they favor environments that can be described as wet. So if you have pill bugs living in your house, clearly things are dirty and wet, and that's pretty gross. Usually a pill bug's ideal environment is found under damp objects or in amongst the garbage, but they can survive anywhere, assuming that the environment is moist. If, on the other hand, you keep the environment dry and clean, as you probably should, these little things will die pretty quickly. Thankfully, pill bugs do not spread diseases, and they cannot contaminate food. But they're still not the kind of animals you want lurking around your home. Consider this a plan. If your home is wet and slash or moist, please God clean and dry it. Number 3. Pantry Moth I think we all know that moths are a common insect just about everywhere in the world. But North America has an especially common type, the pantry moth. Go ahead and take a wild guess as to which area of the house you'd find this thing. Tough question, eh? The pantry moth is obviously usually found in the kitchen or any place that food is stored. For whatever reason, the pantry moth is primarily attracted to the items in your pantry. The traps were a success and I highly recommend them to anyone with a pantry moth problem. Such as flour, cereals, bread, grains, or other dried, processed snacks. Soon, they lay their eggs, and those newborn larvae begin to feast on the packaged items in your pantry, usually resulting in spilt goods all over the place. The pantry moth cannot bite or sting, though it is obviously a major contaminant in your kitchen goods. If a pantry moth invades your pantry goods, all affected food must be immediately discarded, unless you want a rough illness, in which case go right ahead. The pantry moth is a pretty horrible insect and has been known to wreak havoc all across the United States. Even food processing plants have not been immune from this animal's unique chaos. So just remember next time you go into your pantry, airtight containers are your friend. Number 2. Termites Much like New York City, termites never sleep. Unlike New York City, termites are awful, horrible things. Every year, these insects manage to inflict over $5 billion worth of damage to millions of people all around the world. Researchers then added the voracious termites and recorded it all. And what's worse, they just don't stop. They're like the Fast and Furious movies, only not good. Every hour of every day, from birth to death, termites work to build their colonies. That's a pretty impressive work ethic, or it would be if their work was not to inflict as much unnecessary damage on unsuspecting humans as possible. In case you're wondering just how large these lifelong colonies can become, the largest ever recorded contained over 3 million individual termites. They really are prolific in their quest to destroy things. Some termite queens are capable of laying between 15 and 25 eggs per minute. 
rate, eventually reaching an average of around 40,000 per day. This means that, in essence, termites have a never-ending supply of potential new bugs. I cannot stop itching. Termite damage is big business, and what's worse is that it just never stops. Every moment of every day, there are thousands of termites somewhere planning another big raid on old man Jensen's house. I admire their work ethic, but geez, take a year off once in a while. Number 1. Silverfish is there any pest more baffling than the silverfish? Not only is it a weird-looking thing, but this odd creature can cause an unimaginable amount of damage to your home. Identifying characteristics of the silverfish is their elongated, tear-shaped body. In just about every way imaginable. It's actually kind of incredible, in a way. But then you realize how weird they are and maybe not. Silverfish are around one inch long at most, with six fast legs that are good for running around, but not so much for climbing. Usually, they can be found in moist areas of the house, such as the bathroom, basement, or kitchen area. But really, it doesn't matter where they're found as much as what they're doing. Silverfish face a common problem of finding food to eat, and like any hungry creature, they will go anywhere to find it. Silverfish have been known to damage items all around them while feeding including wallpaper, glue, books, and even toothpaste. If you're unfortunate enough to see these things in your home, it's advised that you find where they're hiding. I recognize this sounds like the setup for an odd Liam Neeson movie, but what else are you going to do with your special set of skills? Crochet? How many of these nasty little things have you found in your home? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.